As you guys know, I'm a really big fan of uh, Tesla and their cars and what they do with the software updates, especially on FSD. But one thing that I'm starting to build a massive pet peeve on that I hope they eventually change is a minor software update, not in the car, but in the app itself. So when you have FSD, it gives you a safety score. And what that safety score means is how good of a driver you are. And based off that score, is the type of premium that you pay for the insurance on these cars. You don't have to go with Tesla, but from all the insurances out there, Tesla's insurance is pretty much at the lowest I've ever seen. Um, for this car, at one point, I was paying $54.99, having a score of 100%. The price of that went up due to the fact that I have increased my driving throughout the year, but long road trips you take, that just comes with the price, I guess. Um, so as far as the safety score goes, the main ones that they have on there currently is Ford collision warnings if you're pretty much getting really close to a car. Hard braking if you're pretty much just how aggressive you are with the brakes. Aggressive turning is the next one on the list and that pretty much tracks the amount of g-forces you're pulling when you're doing a turn. So unsafe fouling, if you're getting too close to the car in front of you, then that pretty much dings you on that. Forced autopilot disengagements means that you are driving on FSD, you're not paying attention, it's giving you warnings and you're not doing anything about it and it forcefully disengages you from FSD. And the last one that they have additionally put on this, which is safety score 1.2 now, is late night driving. So if you're driving anywhere between 10 p.m. and 4 a.m., you are getting dinged pretty aggressively. Tesla is assuming that those are the worst times to drive. And most people who are working late night shifts or people who are driving for Uber or for myself, I pretty much work on this car late at night because that's the only time I have to work on this car. We finish anywhere from 10 to 12 a.m. I still have about an hour drive back home. And when I first realized this is when we recently had our Super Bowl. The Super Bowl ended pretty late and I actually started driving between 10 and 10.30 and I actually got dinged by 30 points on just that single day. And so I'll show you guys a quick clip of my safety score that I did for just one half hour of driving. So hopefully Tesla can make some changes as far as the range of driving times throughout the night because I believe any time between 10 p.m. and 4 a.m. is a very wide gap. I do know that there are drunk drivers and there's a lot of unsafe people out there that do driving during those times. But even for health workers that need to be at a hospital and if there are emergency calls, a lot of those times they have to be driving between 10 p.m. and 4 a.m. Maybe eventually Tesla can fine tune these times for specific people or do it in specific increments based off the data that they see on unsafe driving. Because when you're using Tesla insurance as your main provider and you're driving during those times more often than not, you really hurt your wallet when you're paying for this insurance. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you can and I'll see you guys next time.